Good morning everyone and welcome to Vlogmas Day 12. It is 7.30 in the morning. I need my coffee. And just, I'm back at my new favourite place in Dublin, the Pug Cafe. I thought I'd bring him here and I told him I'm going to get an acai bowl the next time I come. That's what I'm doing. I'm so excited. Do you see the hype about this place now? Hi. The menu yeah. looks so good. I just love places with a good menu and it's just so aesthetically pleasing. I've got my laptop as well so that I don't fall asleep in the bloody hotel room today. I'm going to sit here and do some work before I go back and get ready like after breakfast. Yeah, I'm going to get bottles. Hold up. That's so cute. That's what it's looking like. Well, massive, yeah? <laughs> no, it's tiny. <laughs> anyway. First things first, coffee. Look at this, seriously, it is now quarter to eight in the morning. It's still dark outside. Look at that, it is so dark outside, you can't see anything. I'm never up at this time in the morning, so it's a bit of a shock to the system, not gonna lie. <laughs> Slow eater, so I'm gonna sit here and do some work while Jas leaves. Bye. 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 See you later. Yeah. Bye. Bye. So it is 12.30, I've just come back to the hotel room. Ignore me while I go through my snack bag trying to find something to eat. Ooh, Japanese rice crackers, that'll do. Okay, it is now about half past 12. I got back to the hotel room. I was literally sat in the cafe all morning editing my video. I got chatting to a really friendly couple from Kent and they were like asking me what I do and how long I'm here for because I actually saw them yesterday when I was leaving the hotel. They were checking in and they had just checked out of the hotel and they were flying back home. They were just here for one night. But I have put the finishing touches to my video. I finished editing it. I can't believe it took me so long to do today. But um, I've just finished doing that. I'm going to really quickly make a thumbnail, leave it to upload and schedule it for tonight because I really want to go out today. I don't want to spend my whole day in Dublin working. And today was supposed to be sunny. It has been chucking it down all morning. I don't have an umbrella or a hood. Um, I really hope the hotel, like sometimes hotels give you umbrellas, but I'm going to have to risk it and just go out. I think the rain is supposed to stop between like 1 and 2 p.m. so I hope it does that just in time for me to go out but I want to go and explore Dublin you know so ah, oh, I've had replies to some of my emails I hate when that happens anyway right <laughs> so I want to really quickly make the thumbnail and um, have something to eat it's just typical that the minute I get back from the cafe where I've been sat all morning, I'm hungry. So I'm just gonna have some of these. And I really want coffee too, but um, as much as I love the food in that place, I don't really like their coffees that much. So I thought I would maybe pick one up from somewhere else on my way out, once I figure out how to get there. Oh my God, guys, it's sunny in Dublin. Um, I don't have sunglasses. My video is currently uploading and I am gonna rush and get out of this hotel so I'm not here any longer and just go out and explore. I'm gonna go to Dublin City Gallery. I feel like that'll be quite interesting. So I really wanna go to the gallery and then I think next door is the Writers Museum. I'm not big on museums, so I don't think I'll go there, but if it's next door and if I'm done in time, I might just pop in and have a look assuming I don't have to pay. And I would quite like to go to the Irish Museum of Modern Art, but I think that's in the opposite direction. I'm not gonna make it there at this time, which is a bit of a shame. But yeah, let's go, let's go, it's sunny!
taught all those techniques which I don't want to know. I mean, I want to find my own technique. Because if you're trying to do something, if you're trying to do something that's rather different and new, you can't use the old techniques which, um, which have already been used. You make your own technique. So how did you learn? How did you learn to make your own technique? By doing it. Trial and error. I really like the um, Dublin City Gallery. I don't know what to do now because it's about three o'clock or just gone and the Writers Museum is literally next door. The Writers Museum is not something that I'd particularly go and see myself and I've got a feeling you have to pay for it so I don't want to pay for it. Um, the Dublin City Gallery was free but I did think that was quite interesting. Maybe I should go and see because if it's free I'll go in and have a look. If not, I actually want to try and find a Starbucks and have a coffee so I'll see if this is free or not and if not then I'll try and find a Starbucks and figure out what I do from there. Oh, it's really chilly today actually. Last time Jess and I came to Dublin, um, that's the spire of Dublin by the way, on O'Connell Street. And we just could not figure out why it's like um, one of like the top 10 things to do in Dublin. It's literally just a monument in the middle of the road. <laughs> to Penny's or Primark to buy an umbrella. an umbrella but I'm just sheltering from the rain it's so cold and I'm trying to figure out like Google Maps where I need to go to get the tram back to the hotel and I think I'm gonna meet Jess there um, and then we'll get up to dinner somewhere locally but the weather's so bad at the moment it's chucking it down Day. I had a very fun afternoon sort of wandering around Dublin and it was really funny to go back to O'Connell Street because five or six years ago when Jess and I last came to Dublin we were staying um I actually remember it was near Croke Park Stadium our hotel was called Croke Park Hotel Whew, let me open the window it's really warm in here and it was like really far out of town kind of in the middle of nowhere and when we first landed we were starving and looking for food so we kind of walked down to O'Connell Street and we spent a lot of time there I remember at the time thinking is this Dublin like it's a bit crap so obviously like way before I discovered blogs and the art of like um checking out restaurant reviews before you go and things like that so we had some very bad food and we didn't have a great time until obviously like later on in the trip when we discovered that that wasn't actually the main part of Dublin but yeah it was really funny to go back there I've got at least 30 minutes or maybe even 40 oh till Jas gets back because he hasn't actually left work yet so I made a good call coming back and not waiting for him but let me just show you what I bought in pennies I literally saw it across the road and I knew it was there so I was like I have to pop in first of all it was chucking it down so I was like I need to buy an umbrella and like where else do you go but Primark <laughs> luckily they actually had loads left but let me just quickly show you what I bought okay this is my tiny bag of purchases da -da -da -da. oh okay Here's my umbrella, it's a bit wet. Let's put that there with the case and the receipt. Do you know what, it was so funny. I literally spent 
10 euro, <laughs> 10 pounds. So first up, I bought an umbrella that I thought would be four euro, but it was 350, so I'm not complaining. Then I went into their beauty section, obviously, as you would have seen. I haven't seen these in our Primark. I don't know if they actually sell them, but I spotted these. Thought they'd be great, especially because I've bought so many Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes recently, and we all know what the fallout is like on them because they're so pigmented. So I thought this was really handy, and it was like 30 for £1.50. I reckon this would probably be a pound at home. I noticed that some of their products that we sell for a pound were 150 here, but it does work out more expensive because the exchange rate for the euro is really crap at the moment, so that cost me £1.50. And then I saw these. I've actually seen like YouTubers, Instagrammers using these, and I bought two packets because I thought, do you know what? These are so handy. They're like cotton buds that have like micellar water or makeup remover or something inside them. Here we go. Look, pre filled cotton buds with a click to release formula for cleansing and correcting all makeup mistakes. I thought this would be amazing because I always, always mess up my winged eyeliner. So I picked up two packs of these. These were two euro each and you get 24. So they'll last me a while. I could even get a pack, like give somebody else a pack. I was thinking of giving these to my sister, but I don't really think she wears eye makeup. She wears like makeup, but just not eyeshadow. So I might just keep these for myself. I thought these were really cool, but let me know if we can get these in the UK because I'd be very interested to know. I haven't seen them in Primark or anywhere else for that matter. But yeah, I thought these were a great idea. And last but not least, I really hope she's not watching, although I think her friends probably are because she always tells me her friends watch my vlog. So hi, Minnie Me's friends. <laughs> but I've picked up these nails for her. I just thought they were so cute. They're the Disney and Minnie Mouse stick on nails and they were only one euro. But I thought these were really cute and she absolutely loves stick on nails. She was saying that for her 18th birthday, which is thankfully a very long time away, she wants to get acrylics and her mum was like, is that it? That's fine. <laughs> So whenever she has school holidays or anything like that, she always puts these on and I always get her tons of these. So I just thought these were a bit different. They're a bit cute. And yeah, they're one pound. So there we go. That is my little pennies haul. I'm now going to just check that my video uploaded okay because I just let it sort of upload itself. And I'm just going to chill while I wait for Jas. I'm starving because I literally had that breakfast with him this morning. Then I had those horrible Japanese rice crackers that I bought from Asda. I bought them to Dublin with us and they really worked very nice. I've got a few left and I haven't eaten all day apart from the Starbucks that I had earlier so I'm very hungry indeed. I might start researching restaurants actually that are quite close by so we don't have to go very far. I'm so glad that I went back to the hotel and didn't hang around waiting for Jas because my video had uploaded but I forgot to add in the music so I had to sit there re-editing it and uploading it which took like an hour <laughs> and now finally it's gone 7pm but we're going out for dinner right? Yes yeah, so I'm very hungry. We both actually spotted this restaurant at the tram stop. Um, at the same time, without telling each other, called Thai Orchid. It's just been looking at reviews, and it has some good reviews, and they do a vegetarian masaman curry, and you guys know how I feel about masaman curry. That like, is the first thing I look for on any menu, and most places don't make it veggie, so I'm very excited about this, and hopefully it's not too busy and we can get to people. It's so cold today, I'm frozen. Here it is, Thai Orchid. We can't cross here, can we? Oh yeah, vegetarian masaman curry. <laughs> How's your meal, Jess? It was all right. It wasn't the best. It wasn't the worst. It was just edible. Yeah, like the, my masaman curry was different. Um, I think the vegetables were slightly overcooked. Oh, it's so windy. I wouldn't like go back. I think out of the three days, the Japanese was definitely my favourite meal. And do you know what? I think I preferred my burger over this Thai food. Eddie Rockets. It says a lot because I don't really like burgers. Oh, I'm getting blown away. I'm going to go. I'll talk to you when I get back to the hotel. <sighs> so we rushed back to the hotel and made it just in time to watch The Apprentice because it's the final five today. We even picked up some snacks and some drinks where well, we've got our chocolates from yesterday and this TV doesn't have BBC One and Jack can't get iPlayer up on his laptop because his laptop knows that we're in Ireland and it only works in the UK. That's disappointing. For the first time ever in my life we've turned on a TV in a hotel room. Like I never watch TV. But I wanted to watch The Apprentice especially because it's the final five today. Let's see what I'm doing. Okay, so he's just called reception and apparently they're sending somebody up. But they can't like fix it if it, fix it doesn't it. exist. That's weird. People in Ireland watch The Apprentice, don't they? Yeah, but I don't, I don't know what they have. Is it just the hotel? It's just a stupid hotel, I think. That's so dumb. Anyway, well, 
I was gonna sit here, watch The Apprentice, have my snacks, take off my makeup and chill. But now I'm just gonna go and <laughs> end my vlog here. Hopefully I get to watch The Apprentice, although I very much doubt it. So I'm gonna end this vlog here. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow for day 13. Oh God, I'm checking out the hotel tomorrow. It's sad times. But anyway, see you tomorrow. Bye.